Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. You found The Hive. My name is Case von Bokov, I'm the founder of The Hive. And I'd like to explain a little bit more about our FAIR data services today. So the mission of our company is to enable open science. And we have two ways of doing that, which is uh, building on open source solutions and communities, and also by verifying data. And I'll come back to both of them. But our business model is really also um, has two pillars. One is engaging in pre-competitive collaborations and the other is in direct to customer projects. So as far as pre-competitive collaboration goes, uh, the Hive is engaged in many uh, pre-competitive projects these days such as IMI Eden, which is a European public private consortium for building a data network of health data sources across Europe. Uh, similar projects in Pioneer for prostate cancer, Big Data at Heart in cardiovascular diseases. We have uh, projects like FAIR Plus, which focus on how to implement FAIR data in a life science setting. We have projects like Radar CNS that focus on using open source technologies for um, variables, variable sensors and decentralized trials. So many different open source projects and communities like Odyssey, C Bioportal, Open Targets that we are engaged in. So that's a big part of what we do at The Hive. But actually an even larger part is our um, professional services, many of which has to do with fair data in some way. And I've listed a few of them here. So um, organizations that start out with data governance and focus on implementing the FAIR principles. We can help them to um, analyze the current landscape, uh, build conventions for how do I describe metadata, what are URI policies that we can adopt, what are some of the um, data models, open, uh, open data models like FIRE and OMOP that uh, can be adapted for data governance purposes. Uh, we do workshops, we help organizations with setting up data mapping. So, so many uh, different ones really. And I would like to quickly highlight three examples. The first example is uh, a fair assessment project. So here there was a specific system in a company and this company really wanted a deep dive on the fairness of that system. So we tested it against a number of metrics that we chose. And we also um, recommended the organization how they could increase the fair score of some of the lower scoring principles. So that gives you a nice um, assessment that you can repeat also over time to see, um, did you improve your fairness? Second example is building a fair playbook. So in this organization, what we did is um, we worked with a specific project and segment of system developers and architects who want to implement FAIR in the organization. And we took the perspective of a FAIR digital object. So then we, um, for instance, the identifier aspect of FAIR, we looked at what are the registration of, uh, systems for identifiers, identifiers that are available in the company. Uh, and we wrote down for um, a system architect that may not necessarily be an expert on FAIR or data governance, but is expert as, a, as an architect. Um, in their language, how can they adopt those principles? And similar with, with metadata, standards and code, etc. So another example uh, is this project where we uh, looked at the complete R&D data landscape. Uh, this goes across research and clinical uh, this is a fairly large project. We really had a whole team working on it for a couple of months uh, because we went through uh, all of the systems and we looked at the kinds of data that's in there. You can imagine we have any way, anything from ELNs to um, health data sources and um, I don't know, antibody affinity assays. Uh, you have uh, public data sources uh, that from the EBI and from the NIH, etc., that are brought in. So the question was, um, how does how do these data sources relate, and what are some of the key entities that are shared across them, such as project codes, 
uh, also um, codes for uh, genes, compounds, etc. So that gave us a really nice knowledge graph, which um, was helpful for the purpose of just understanding what's there, but also for the purpose of planning the data governance uh, process. So hopefully with this short overview, I've given you uh, an idea of some of the projects we do at the Hive and specifically also around fair data stewardship and fair data services. Again, our goal is to enable open science. And if you have a consortium or uh, you're an organization that wants to improve and adopt the FAIR principles, I would recommend that you reach out and we'd be happy to help. Thank you so much.